Well, it may look like paradise behind me, but I want you to take a closer look with our drone. You see that line of brown that has piled up on the beach? That is a seaweed called sargasm. It has been infesting beaches from Mexico through the Caribbean to Florida for the last decade, and it just keeps getting worse. They need to urgently figure out why it's coming and what to do with it, because it is choking animals, humans, and tourism. In place of that iconic aquamarine water, this is the worst piece of garbage water I've ever seen. Totally impossible to swim. A brown, stinky seaweed has consumed beaches across the Caribbean, Mexico, and even Florida. We saw a lot, a lot of seaweed, more than I've ever seen in an ocean before. It stunk, it got in the way, you know, it, it kind of affected my whole day. Since 2011, this floating brown algae called sargasm has been getting progressively worse. This year, covering white sand beaches in record levels, more than 24 million tons. When it dies on the shore, it can be toxic to people, animals, and the economy. Scientists say that climate change and shifting weather patterns likely have something to do with it. Caribbean water temps this year stayed above average all winter, their third warmest on record. Although we don't have a clear idea, most of the evidence point to warmer sea surface temperatures, so climate change and global warming, and a lot of nutrients dump in the water, uh, what we call eutrophication. Basically, we're fertilizing this in a warmer sea. So that's good for seaweed, not so good for the rest of the places that it affects. So this stuff isn't only unsightly and stinky, but it can actually impact sea turtles. Little hatchlings have a hard time getting over this. It can shade coral, which is not good. And it can even acidify the ocean, which leads to sometimes fish kill.